we're going to throw out two statements about your business. And if you would be so kind as to tell us which one feels the most like you usually feel. I have a fabulous business with unlimited potential that I am happy every day that I own. I have a business, that's one, I have a business that has potential that is not where it needs to be in order to give me the success that I seek. It would be the latter one. Now we'll throw out two more. Business is easy. Business is hard. Business is hard. Now we'll give you two more. Global or national economy is helping me now or hurting me now? In theory, it should be helping me because I have the sort of business that does well in... Never mind the theory. (laughs) It doesn't appear to be helping, at least to me. So you're getting the sense that no no matter what the reason for it, You've been beating the drum more of it's not working than that it is working. Yes, I actually switch from drum to drum from like it's <laughs> hopefully going to work, but I'm spending more time on the... But the thing that we want you all to feel is that this beating the drum that we're talking about, it's not just the words, it's the feeling behind it. And so how do I really feel about my business? How do I really feel? It, I, do I feel more discouraged or more optimistic? You're actually spot on. I may be saying a lot of the words trying to encourage myself, That's all but right. usually the uh, feeling goes from quickly from elation to Well, you see, the reason depression. that we know this, we, are, we appear to be very wise. Well, we actually are very wise. But, <laughs> but the reason that we know this is because we know that law of attraction is always accurate. And it's not possible if your business feels like it's not moving for you. It's not possible for your vibration to be different than that. But what is often possible is that you can use words that seem to, that seem to emit the way you feel, but... If the words that you are using and the results that you're getting don't match, then it must mean you feel different than you're sounding like you feel. And so that's what we're talking about here. We want you to not take a hammer and bash in the gas gauge because it's reading a a, a lower level of fuel than you want. Instead, we want you to be happy about the indicator and then just consistently reach for thoughts that feel better. That's all, because you can't, in other words, life experience has brought you to wherever you are. Undoubtedly, you've had exposure to business. You've had exposure to family business. You've had exposure. You didn't pick up the way you feel about your relationship with money or your relationship with your business all at once. You've been gradually coming to it. And where it is is where it is, and where it is is fine. In other words, Jerry and Esther have a Magellan, it's called. It's a navigational system in their vehicles. And... Wherever they are, Magellan reads them. The the satellites in the sky triangulate, and they know right where they are. They have a little antenna on the top of their vehicles. And so then they punch in uh, the handpiece where they want to go. They put the city. They put the, the street. They put the address. And in most cases, Magellan already has that information in the computer. And then Magellan begins immediately to give them a route from where they are to where they want to be. Magellan never says, where were you yesterday? (laughs) Magellan never says, how long have you been there? Magellan never says, are you sure you don't want to go someplace else? In other words, (laughs) it's just where you are and where you want to go. that's, that's, That's what life is. And so what we want you to accept here today, and we think you can do it easily, you're right on the brink of it, is where you are is just fine. In other words, never mind. Jerry and Esther don't sit for hours. Oh, how can we tell Magellan that we're in Boston? (laughs) They just say, here we are. Here's where we're going. 
In fact, they don't even have to tell Magellan where they are. Magellan knows where they are. In other words, the, the, you, know, you, you get the sense of it. And so yeah. where you are and where you want to be, that's the only thing that you need to pay any attention to. And never mind how you got there, never, long ha never mind how long you've been there, never mind whose fault it is that you are there, never mind how much you don't want to be there. In other words, all of that is irrelevant. All of that's on the other side of where you are and doesn't have anything to do with where you're going. Are you getting it? The yeah. only thing that has anything to do with anything is where I am and my relationship to where I want to be. That's all. It's this side of the equation. It's all that matters. And so what you're wanting to ask yourself with each moment that you're consciously aware of your emotions is, is the thought that I'm thinking now taking me closer to where I want to be or further from it? And so now let's play that game for a moment, if you're willing, and sure. give us some of the things that roll through your mind on a pretty regular basis, even every day, things you talk about with friends or with your business associates. In other words, give us some of the conversation that comes up on a regular basis, and let us, let us feel it. Not the stuff that you think we want to hear, but the stuff you say as you uh, move through your business day. Sure, I would break them into two categories. One of them is when I'm having conversations with my wife and we're discussing how this business is eventually going to grow and be great and it's going to be able to sustain us and give us the sort of life we want. Good, good, good. On the other now, hand. Now, yes. so you say that to her and what does she say? She's very supportive. Yes. She's so extremely give a, supportive. Give us some of the words. We want to hear the dialogue. Uh, there... So, for example, some of the things she says is, don't worry, honey, eventually you're going to get there. You're working at it extremely hard. You've tried some things that, never, that didn't work, but now you're trying some things that All have right, potential. All right, now stop for a moment and feel. In other words, don't worry, honey. So what, what she picked up on, in other words, are you bright-eyed and bushy-tailed in that moment, or, or has she noticed that you're feeling some discouragement? Touche. It's uh, fear. <laughs> so, so now she knows you're feeling some discouragement. She's trying yes. to cheer you up. Yes. Does it? I appreciate her intention, but it Absolutely. really does not. It, uh, I, I contrast her, her intention with what I perceive of reality, and then I think, well, you know, what, I, what I'm seeing does not so, reflect that. So what's happening is in her encouragement or in anyone's encouragement is sort of shining a spotlight on where you are. And what we're – now, remember, the whole thing is from where I am to where I want to be. But where is this spotlight shining? Where I am, where I am, where I am. Don't worry, honey. It's going to get better. You're working very hard. Where is that spotlight shining? It's shining right on what is. Yes. Where, so what you're wanting to do is shine the spotlight a little more to where you're wanting to be. As you get it off of what is, you'll start feeling better right away. So we know that she's well-intentioned. We would not change a thing about her. But you're getting this. In other words, we want you to feel where. So when she is saying, don't worry, honey, what emotion is coming forth within you? In other words, does it make you feel inadequate? Does it make you feel... As a matter of fact, uh, again, <laughs> spot on. Uh, as much, it does make me feel a little bit inadequate because I feel that I have all this business experience that I've been able to use elsewhere. Yes. And here I am trying to run my own business and yes. I'm seeing zero silch. <laughs> Not so, so now how could, how could you, so what, what is that emotion? It is an emotion of inadequacy. Which, is that a pretty good, and where does inadequacy fit on this spectrum of emotion? Is it ecstasy? Is it overwhelmment? Is it frustration? Is it disappointment? Is it anger? Is it uh, unworthiness? Is it defeat? Is it? I would say from the middle. All of the above in that direction. <laughs> so, so it is. It sort of is in the disconnected range of it. It's all right. Very in other much words, so. it, 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 it's all right. So, so where does it settle in? Unworthiness fits somewhere with powerlessness, or is powerlessness too strong? It's it's a combination of feeling unworthiness and perhaps even bad luck or being stuck. That's, that's the right, word so that, that comes to my mind. So that's on the stuck. lighter end of it. In other words, it doesn't feel to you like you're unworthy. No. It doesn't feel to you like you're inadequate. It's... So somewhere yeah. inadequate, inadequate. In other words, I'd like to get out of it and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Yes. So now what would feel better than that? We think we need someone to blame, don't you? <laughs> Now, just go with this for a minute. Just sure. go with it for a minute. Because you know blame feels better than guilt every single time. It does. 
In other words, it's not socially accepted because when you blame someone else, they get defensive and they'd a lot rather that you feel guilt. In other words, it started with your teachers. It started, in other words, when in school, when you don't learn, the teachers always blame you. You're not trying hard enough. In other words, and so, and so, so many of you have blamed yourself and we're, we, it might feel to you like we're blowing this out of proportion because we're certainly saying words that you don't want to hear. N- nobody really does. But we want you to not bash in your gas gauge. Instead, we want you to say, it's all right. I've been feeling inadequate, but I'm not inadequate. I know I'm not inadequate. I, I do a good job. Look at what I've been able to do in other places. I know I am not inadequate. Now, we're not in sunshine and lollipops and roses. We're in a little bit of antagonistic anger. But doesn't it feel better to say, I'm not inadequate? You're not inadequate. Don't you sort of want to shout that to somebody? Doesn't somebody need to tell somebody that you're not inadequate? Sure. And so we think that that moved your vibration just a little bit. Now, you're not where you want to be in terms of your business, but that's coming. And doesn't it feel more, don't you feel in your anger a little more optimistic than you did in your wanting to blame yourself or in your feeling of inadequacy? Don't you feel more empowered? Certainly empowered, yes. Yeah, yeah. You feel more empowered. It feels more like getting out there and making something happen, doesn't it? In other words, you've sort of broken through that feeling. And so now as your wife says to you, and we're going to, we, we adore her. We're going to be very kind with about it. But, Me too. Oh, oh, honey, don't worry about it. You're doing very well. It'll be okay. Now, how does that, that, you're taking that easier now, aren't you? In other words, her, her words, she's soothing you. It'll be all right. Don't just sort of want to say, you're damn right it's going to be all right. In other words, <laughs> in other words you don't feel like licking your wounds or her licking your wounds. In other words, you know it's going to be all right. And, and what she's saying about it, kind and loving as she is, is sort of irrelevant because you already know that. And so doesn't your retort to her want to be something like, you're absolutely right? I'm not one bit worried. Everything's going to be okay. Here's where I am. I've got my eye on where I'm going. The universe has to give me what I want. I'm tuned in, tapped in, turned on. I'm going to get everything that I want. I'm happy to take it incrementally. I love steady progress. Look at all we've gained. Look at how many decisions we've made. I feel powerful in this. It doesn't matter where we are. Where we're going is what matters. I can feel it coming. It's going to be all right. There are no gauges other than the way I feel that are important, and I feel empowered, and you do don't you? I'm feeling much better now, yes. Yes. <laughs> well, it's easy because you're not so far from where you want to be, but there cool. was something stuck in your craw. In other words, oftentimes it's something that's really insignificant, but you have been carrying this insignificant thing around with you, and there isn't anything that will activate an insignificant feeling of not being worthy like someone else's sympathy. In the moment that somebody sympathizes with you, they are always sympathizing with your weakness every single time. Nobody ever sympathizes with your strength. Have you noticed? Nobody ever comes and says, buck up, you joyous being. (laughs) Nobody ever comes to someone at the top of their game and says, don't worry, it'll get better. In other words, they're always sympathizing from their awareness that you're aware that you're not where you want to be, and it always makes it more. And so when somebody sympathizes, don't you want to just look at them and say, you've got to be nuts. There's nothing wrong with where I am. Manifestate, I will never get it done. There's always going to be more. And I've learned, you say, and we're, we're wanting to say this in a way that you can really feel it, my business will always be on the grow. It will always be on the increase. I will never be satisfied at any stopping point. It will always be expanding. It will be expanding in terms of service. It will be expanding in terms of satisfaction. It will be expanding in terms of sales. It will be expanding in terms of profit. It will be expanding in terms of planetary benefit. It will be expanding. It will always be expanding.